Perhaps I treated you too harshly. Panthers fans, take a deep breath. Bryce wasn't that bad Sunday. Now exhale. Dave Canales was. What up, y'all? It's the Robot Watcher Grab Binoculus. You know what it is. Let's talk about Sunday, bro. We, we got thrown around. But before we do that, I want y'all to go like this video, subscribe to our, my YouTube, go follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok so you can enter the giveaway. I'm giving away two free tickets to an NFL game. If you do all of those things, subscribe to the YouTube, follow the um, Instagram, follow the TikTok, at the Real Ball Watcher. simple as that, nothing else, you'll be entered into a giveaway. I'm raffling it off. Two free tickets, you and a plus one. So go do that. Now let's get into the film. Now, the Panthers got whooped around all game. Simple as that. But right now, we're just going to talk about the offense. Now, rule of thumb, it always looks so much worse on a broadcast, I promise. But Bryce didn't play that bad. Dog, let's go into this first play. First thing we see, eight-man front, everybody looking like they're about to blitz. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, not nine, nine, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All the way down the lineup, one person, which is Demario Davis, the fifth guy, he's going to drop into coverage into Adam Thielen. Let's look at our route concepts. We got Deontay Johnson, the X. He's going to be on an out. We got Adam Thielen running a post or, sorry, a deep corner. Then we have, I want to say that's Xavier Leggett running it in, or maybe it's Mingo. Basically, everybody's playing off. It's third and long. You have everybody in a full slide protection, but... Let's look at this. Let's look at this, man. You got Miles Sanders on the right side of the ball. You have your tight end on the right side of the ball. You have two tackles on the side of the ball where there's one, two, three, four, four defend five defenders on that side of the ball. It's very simple to just flip the side. Now I know Dave Canales said one of the pressures or one of the protection calls was on Bryce. I believe it would be this one, but let's run it. Let's run it. As we can see, he calls uh, Miles Sanders to the backfield. He gets back out there. All the guys are up on the line. And let's look. Free rusher off the edge. Now, not much you can do there, one, because there's no outlet. There's no quick option where, hey, get it out of your hands fast. Everything is deeper downfield because we're in third and long. That's the thing. We need to win on first and second down so we're not in these positions. But, I mean, if you just pause it, pause it while I'm recording the YouTube, do when Bryce is literally about to get hit, when he's bending down, look at where your receivers are. Nobody is out of their breaks. Nobody has won their route. Nobody's prepared to catch the ball. So what is he to do in that situation? Now, I, like I said, I don't know if this protection call is on him, but even if it isn't, we've seen that our running backs have not been able to pick up protection in this game. It would have been a sack anyway. Not not, not deflecting blame. If it's on him, it's on him. He needs to get the protections right. And if this was the one play, then, hey, it is what it is. You need to get Miles on the other side of the ball. Simple as that. But I don't like the, the process of this. I don't like not having a quick option when they're blitzing more than you're blocking. They're showing you initially they're blitzing more than you're blocking. You need to have a hot. There is no hot on the field. It's that simple. That's on Dave Canales. And then the protection could be on Bryce. They both could share the blame 50-50 on this play. But let's get into the next one. Now let's get into the next play. Here we go. Once again, it's going to be a theme for this video. I don't like the process here. You have. Now, initially, before the snap, you can't tell who's blitzing. But regardless, you have five guys blitzing versus a six-man protection. We're going to, They're going to drop Claypool, who you assume is blitzing. So... You're obviously going to slide that way, so that messes up the protection. They're also going to drop this linebacker. But this is my problem. You've been getting cooked by the Blitz all game. Where's your hots? You have – actually, this is a seven-man protection because you have two deep overs on the on the trip side. You have your wide receiver and Mingo chipping the defensive lineman and then getting out on kind of just a little flat route. And then you have a backside dig about 10, 15 yards from one of the slowest players on the field in – Jantavian Sanders, your your tight end. Let's run the play, bro. I mean, it's not too much to say. Let's run the play. They bring the heat. It doesn't get picked up because they slided, they slid the line to the clay pool, which is hard to fault necessarily with you, you know. When Dave Canales talked about he he got out coached, which I can respect him simply saying, Hey, I got out coached. They had blitzes. I've seen these blitzes before. I made adjustments. They had counters. I had no adjustments to the counters. I believe this is what he's talking about. Then when they started dropping Claypool and another guy, but they're simulating that they're bringing eight or seven, 
that's when we were consistently not picking up the correct guy. Now, I think this still could have been picked up. If Chuba picks up the linebacker that's just running free at Bryce, maybe this play has a chance. I mean, yeah, you can get a Domingo. If he picks that up and Robert Hunt actually picks up the original linebacker that Chuba picked up, you can get that out to, to Mingo. But this is what happens when you get out coached. I mean, you slid the protection the wrong way. Guys didn't pick up the correct guys. Interior pressure immediately. I mean, bro, take a pause once again. Pause it when the linebacker is about to hit Bryce. Look at where Mingo is. Head's not looking for the ball. He just got into his route. He's not ready for the ball to be thrown. I'm pausing it right now. I'm looking. That's why I keep looking now. There's nothing you can. What do you do as a quarterback from right here? And then look at everybody else. Nobody's out the break. Nobody's open. Another thing that I don't want to dispel, this narrative that guys were just running open and he was missing guys open, missing reads, that's not true. Yes, he was inaccurate on some plays. We'll get to that later. But there's not. that's not true that guys were running open and they were actually getting a lot of separation and he wasn't seeing them. That's not true. Let's come on, man. We just got to be honest. But but literally, ask yourself, what do you do as a quarterback here? Why we got to why you got to pause? What do you do as a quarterback? It's cooked immediately. They had counters to our adjustments, and we didn't have anything after that. Simple as that. Now this next play, I'm gonna throw you a curveball. We actually picked up a <laughs> we actually picked up a a positive game against the blitz. This is this is why I say that Bryce Young didn't play that bad. When the answers were there, when he was provided the answers. He hit him. He's had the correct protection, had an answer, had a hot, had somebody to go to. He hit him. Let's look at this play. You have a one, two, three, four, five, six man blitz versus, I want to say five or, yeah, a six man protection. So a six man protection versus six man blitz. Everybody picks it up perfectly. Perfectly. I'm going to run the play. I want to say they did a full slide. No, they didn't need to do a full slide. They just simply played base defense and had uh, uh, the running back pick up whoever was coming free inside. Simple as that. But let's look at the play. You have a out from both of your receivers. Deontay Johnson's running out at the uh, sticks. You're going to have Liga running it out at the sticks. Then you're going to have a little sit-down route from, I want to say, that's Jordan Matthews or Jatavian Sanders. Uh, Adam Thielen, he's going to run a five-yard out. This is off coverage. You have guys playing the sticks. Run it shallow, run it out shallow, pick up a positive gain. That's your answer versus this coverage. You have the protection blocked up correctly. So what a bad quarterback would do would, you know, panic, not be poised, throw some BS, throw it inaccurately, or not go through his reads and panic and force it to someone. But what does Bryce do? He stays closed. He looks where the safety is. He feels like, hey, I've already picked out that this route, I feel like Mingo is going to be able to beat this guy. I'm going to throw it to Mingo. Now, Maybe he should have threw it to Deontay on the opposite side. That's a far hash throw. That's a long throw. I'm pretty sure that's why he picked Mingo. This is a much shorter throw. We're going to get it to the sticks. It's going to be the same game. Yeah, Deontay probably would have had a first down. But this is what happens when you're playing poised and in, in, in you're correct. You're not playing bad. You're not wrong. You're not m- missing reads. You're not misreading the defense. When you have the answers and they're there, that's why Dave Canales said, we had them back there just like a sitting duck sometimes. Once they once they countered our counters, we were just sitting back there. The, the staff were just sitting on their hands like, dang, he's just back there getting killed. And this is a prime example because when it's there, when the answers are there, when the hot is there, he hits it. When the protection is there, when he calls the protection right, because I want to say he's in charge of protection. When he calls the protection right, he has his hot, he has his answer, he hits it. It's that simple. But let's get into the next play. All right, man, play number four. Let's get into it. Once again, when the protection is correct, when the answers are there, he looked good. Simple as that. Once again, we have a five-man rush. That This was their counter, one of their counters. Instead of bringing all the guys, we're going to bring up five and we're going to drop one guy. Now, this one is a lot more simple. It's a lot more easier to read out. So that's probably why this worked. You're going to have five guys. You're going to have four guys originally on the line of scrimmage. You're going to have walked Demario Davis up into the A-gap. So you have a five-man blitz, five on five. Simple as that. It says simple, easy. Empty protection. Everybody pick up their man. You're going to have, I want to say this, Chuba on a little out route. You're going to have Jatavian Sanders on a dig. Jatavian Sanders, that dig did not look good, but whatever. Um, then you're going to have Mingo on this big out. Simply big out. Big, big, big game. Then you're going to have a, a kind of a switch release from Deontay Johnson. It looks like he was kind of doing a crossing route, but then flipped it when he seen Bryce start moving, whatever. Then you're going to have like a... Looks like a drag originally from Mingo, but he kind of turns it into a rip, uh, whip route whenever he sees Bryce moving. But 
let's go ahead and run the play. Um, when it's there, it's there. He looks good. Let's run the play. Bryce feels the pressure from the outside. He moves with great pocket presence, by the way. Great pocket presence, by the way. Let's mention that. Great pocket presence, by the way. I, all right, I got a tweet out there. Y'all seen it. I'm afraid we broke him. I don't know if we broke him anymore, man. The pocket presence is still there. He feels that rusher. He feels that rusher beating Icky on the outside, even with the chip from Chuba. Whatever. We're not even going to talk about that. He feels the rusher beating Icky on the outside. What does he do? He simply moves over and hits the strike immediately to the out. Accurately on the move. Doesn't need to see the pressure. We talked about it in the last video about Shadur. Pocket presence isn't seeing the pressure. It's feeling it and moving and maneuvering the pocket and manipulating it to avoid pressure without necessarily scrambling or leaving the pocket. And that's exactly what he did. He feels that immediate pressure from Chase Young. Moves over on the run, off platform, feet off the ground. Throws a strike about, I want to say, mm, yeah, probably about 20 air yards. Right into Mingo, gave him time uh, uh, accurately enough to move and get upfield. He's not as nimble as uh, most guys being as size he is, so he wasn't able to get upfield and create more. But this is what you want to see, man. When the answers are there, he looked good. But the problem is the answers weren't there a lot. That is simple as that, and they just compounded with penalties, with um, bad schemed up looking plays, really bad schemed up looking plays. We'll get to that later. Um, Missed blocking assignments because the coaches, you know, didn't, didn't have counters for the counters. Uh, the special teams looking bad. The defense getting blown off the ball. Playing away. It all compounded. But I'm not going to make excuses. I haven't even given my opinion on everybody's, you know, play yet. I'm just showing y'all what the film says. So let's get into the next play because I don't want to show no bias. This is just what it says. So let's get into the next play. Now, while I think the first two was a, a pretty much... Canalis to blame and maybe a little bit of Bryce here and there on one play. This one I think is all Bryce. Um, I can't even say I'm not a fan of the process or anything. It worked. So you're going to have a five-man pressure. You're going to drop the defensive end on the um, farthest where Deontay and them are lined up. You're going to drop him into coverage, but you're going to have five, four guys rushing from the left side of the line of scrimmage. Um, what you're going to have is you're going to have a little sit-down route from Adam Thielen. You're going to have a big out from, I want to say, Mingo. You're going to have a sit-down route from Jatavian Sanders or whoever that is. Then you're going to have a backside dig from Deontay Johnson. The reason I say that this is a really bad play, let me make, let me make that clear, a really bad play from Bryce. This is the stuff that scares you. This was a terrible play. I don't know what he's doing here or what he's thinking, because as a person who's watched him in college and since college, before he won the Heisman, watching his tape, he has a quick processor. And I have clips to show that his processor is still lightning fast. But I don't know what he's doing here. Now, I can say this is going to speak to the preparedness of this team in this clip. Because what a... F why, excuse my French. What the fuck is going on on this play? I mean, bro... You have Icky false start, and you have the right side immediately moving, or the right right receivers immediately getting into the route uh, at the snap. You have Adam Thielen and Mingo looking, calling out, hey, I think Icky false started, and then getting into the route after the play's already begun. It looks like a shit show, excuse my French, but this is good process. This is a good route. It worked. The, the protections were picked up. Now, uh, Miles didn't hold up his block, but at the end of the day, if Bryce hits this, little underneath route to Adam Thielen immediately. There is no beef here. This play works. Let's run it. Sorry. Let's run it. What the... Sorry, bro. We got to start it over. What the fuck? What are they doing, man? Just look. Look at Icky false start. Oh, shit. He false start. Now the receiver's moving. What is going on? What is going on? We don't look prepared. We look like a team that has not played since January. Damn, we damn near look like a team that hasn't played since 2023. This is why preseason matters. But let me get off my, my, my rant. And just run the play. So, gang, what the f Sorry, man. I'm trying to tell y'all to play. But what this just looks. Dude, my friend said we the bad news bears. I almost blocked him. He not lying. Bro, false start. One side's moving. The receiver's pointing out the false start. Like, oh. Or maybe he's pointing out a blitzer. All right. He's pointing out the blitzer. But the ball done snapped now. Now they moving. Yo, it just looks crazy. Anyway, let's talk about the actual play. Um, 
So you're going to have a simple empty protection again. Miles is going to pick up the guy that's free rushing inside. He does a decent job of just hitting him, and, you know, that's it. He, he thudded him up. That's it. He got beat after that. It was over. It was cooked. But once again, I mean, you can pause it if you want. Actually, yeah, pause it. Look at the top. Look at Adam Thielen's route. Whenever Adam Thielen stops and looks at the quarterback, look at where Bryce is. Bryce could have thrown the ball. Now, this is why I'm going to tell you why Bryce should have thrown the ball. When you pause and look at that, look at the opposite side where Bryce is staring down like he's watching a movie. You're going to have that sit-down route and that backside dig. The defensive end dropped into coverage, so it covered up the cover lane for not, I mean, the passing lane, not only for the stop, the sit route, but also the backside dig. But then... Deontay ain't fucking winning. Excuse my French. He's not winning. So what is Bryce staring at? Get off the read. There's so many times of Bryce Young last year, so many times of him in college, where he sees, oh, that play's dead in the water immediately at the snap or, or a second after the snap and moves on in the concept. He did it his first throw or his first completion in the preseason. So I don't know why he's sitting on this route so long. Get off of it. Get off of it. Get off of the route. Yeah, the other side started late, but they started late and was still open. Get off of the route and hit Adam Thielen underneath. With, with, with what? What? When he stops his route, let's pause it. One, two, three, four. About eight yards of space to run. Hit him. Get off of the read and hit him. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what... I don't know what the preparedness of this play is. I don't know what we're doing. False start. Guys running late. I don't know what my quarterback is doing staring down a two-man concept versus a three-man triangle coverage. Really damn near. Yeah, three-man triangle coverage with two guys inside on an inside concept. Come on, man. What are we doing? Get off of it. Please get off of it, Price. Please. Please get off of the concept and move on. You've done it. I've seen you do it in this game. What are we doing? Dog. Dog. I don't got nothing else to say. I don't got nothing else to say. Next play. Had to take a break and, you know, go get some water. Because, dog, that, that last one had me pissed off. But anyways, let's show something good. <laughs> Once again, when the answers are there, protection is blocked up correctly, called correctly from whoever is in charge of it. We're going to say Bryce because it seems like he's the one in charge of it. And the answers are actually there. The hots are actually there. He cooked. <laughs> he cooked. What else can I say? He cooked. So what do we got? We got a six-man um, six blitzing scheme. You're going to have a sit-down route from Jatavian Sanders on the backside. You're going to have an inside dig from, I want to say this, Jordan Matthews. Probably not even just Jatavian Sanders on that backside dig. It's actually uh, David Moore. Forget he's on the team sometimes. Then you're going to have just this pick route. On the outside, simple as that, because we can see that it's man coverage. The guy's rolling down and blitzing. We're going to have a, I mean, great. Sometimes Canales look great. Sometimes I was like, God damn, who is out there coaching? But anyways, I'm going to have a pick route, which is so good against man coverage single high, where we have Thielen, my only kind of beef, because we'll get to get into that later. Thielen is running this wheel downfield, and it's butt naked nasty. Booty butt naked. Booty butt cheese. He's, I mean, it's wide open. So let's go ahead and run the play. Let's run the play, man. So you got to see the safety screaming down, snap the ball immediately. Picked up protection, has time. Let's stand tall in the pocket and hit that wheel downfield. Ah, man. Look at that. Accurate. Boom. On the money. I mean, I, I don't think you're going to score no matter who's running that, that, that wheel. But I would like to see somebody else do it. Just my preference. Um, but we'll get into the personnel use later. But this is just a good play, man. I mean, I can't I can't necessarily complain about anything. I mean, you see these guys. It's going to be a full slide, it looked like. Or maybe it's another empty protection. But it looked like it's a full slide to the right side. You're going to have your running back pick up the blister off the edge. Um, thank God that that safety was blissing for such depth. Because now that I'm looking at it, what the fuck was Icky doing trying to pick up the DB when somebody's about to screen through your gap? But whatever. Um, or that linebacker, I should say. But whatever, man, the hot was there. That's the that's the thing about these things when you need answers. When the hot is there, it doesn't matter if the protection is wrong. The hot is there. Just give them enough time to get the hot. And a lot of times, like I showed at the first, what, two, three plays, there was no hot. There was no answer immediately. But here, there's an answer immediately. It might take two seconds to develop, but goddamn, they gave them two seconds. Who can complain?
Sorry for all the cursing. But, yeah, who can complain? I mean, bro, this is a great play. This is a great coach scheme play. Can't even give Bryce the credit. Okay, ooh, the, the pass is accurate. But this, or maybe you can give him the credit for, you know, calling the protection. But this is just a great schemed up call. This is a good call, Dave. Cooked, Brad Idzik, whoever's uh, in charge of this play. You cooked. I got to give them credit when it's there. Just like I'm going to kill Bryce like that last play. And I'm going to kill Dave when they're wrong. And I'm going to give Bryce credit, obviously, when he's right. I got to give Dave. Dave, this is a good play, man. This is this is, this is is a good play, man. This is simply a good call concept. You knew what they were doing the whole day. Hey, we're going to hit them big on this scissors route. We're going to make a, a, an explosive play. Uh, once again, I will complain. I wish it was, you know, somebody... XL, that runs a 4-3. Maybe we could have got more yards out of this. Maybe we could have got that concept out faster. And boom, it's even more explosive. Might as well, might even get into the red zone or something. But I'm not mad, man, bro. We got it. Big, big explosive play. Something we didn't see last year. So, big explosive play versus the Blitz. Something we didn't see last year. So, let's get into the next play. Let's clap it up for Dave, y'all. <laughs> clap it up, because that's a good call. All right, man. Last play on the show when it comes to this Blitz and stuff. And then we'll move into the other issues. Um... Yo, Dave, man, this is my beef. This is why I kind of brought it up a, a little bit over the video. But, dude, what the fuck is these personnel usings? Like, what are we doing with our personnel? Um, we drafted a rookie in the first round. He didn't start at all in camp. He damn near didn't start in this game. Now, he started getting a lot more reps. But it took Mingo almost fumbling 46 times to finally get in the game and give him the stuff that he should have been getting. But, dude, we have David Moore. Our fifth receiver on this route right here. Also bad process. We'll get into it. We have David Moore, the receiver of choice on fourth and however long in the red zone. We need some points. We're like, hey, we're just trying to get into the end zone, get back into this game, claw, scratch, fight, whatever. And we're relying on David Moore to win one-on-one. -on -one. David Moore. <laughs> Let me move my mic, uh, Court. David Moore is who we were relying on to win one-on-one. -on -one. But let's look at it. God damn it. Engage eight. <laughs> That's basically what they ran. Engage eight. Eight guys up. Eight guys going. We got three guys back playing off coverage, playing about eight yards, nine yards off, however long the first down six are. Damn near ten yards, really. Yeah, they're about nine yards, eight yards of depth. And we're going to see if your guys – can beat our guys. But why? Let me let me get this out. Why? Matter of fact, no, no, no. Let me run the play. And then I'll get my spiel. Let's run the play. All them niggas come. Bryce being pussy. Throwing off his back foot. Inaccurate. But, okay, yeah. Bryce. Yeah, maybe Bryce can stop being a bitch. I'm sorry. Maybe Bryce can stop being scared. And throw the... Stand in there and know you're going to take a hit and throw the ball. Yes. I would like my quarterback to do that. Let's stand in there and throw the ball, Bryce. Be a man. You're going to eat a hit. It's football. Let's stand in there, stand tall, put the ball accurately into your receiver's chest. But, God, the receiver's chest is in the ground. Look at David Moore. Runs immediately into the, the coverage, gets caught, immediately falls. There's no, It doesn't matter how accurate the pass is. If Hell, if the pass is more accurate, it's probably another pick, three picks. Dude, why are we using David Moore in this play? Y'all know I was a David Moore defender on Twitter. So don't hate me, David Moore. I don't think this is against you. But why are we using David Moore in this play? But specifically, let's say we want to use David Moore instead of the guy that we traded up uh, assets for to take into the first round and, and, and we're not giving him these opportunities in these high-pressure situations just like we did in all camp. Whatever. But let's say you want to use David Moore. Let's go back to the drawing. Look how far off they are. It's fourth and eight. They're playing flat-footed. Why not run a quick slant across the middle? You know they're bringing eight, and even if you don't, you're still throwing towards the middle of the field anyway. Run a slant at four yards depth and bet on your guy to make a play after the catch instead of betting on your guy to beat a guy before. You can beat him with the scheme and just rely on your guy. Bro, all right, I'm going to say it, bro. If 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 Xavier Lee gets in and he runs a four or five yard depth slant and Bryce puts it right on his face mask, which he probably wouldn't have been able to do because he had a, a second of more time. He wouldn't be dropping back, throwing a fadeaway like he's Kobe because he's scared to get in touch. But whatever. If he stands in there and puts the fucking ball in his chest or on his face mask, 
That's six if it's Xavier Leggett. It, or Leggett, sorry. If it's Xavier Leggett. Even if it isn't Xavier Leggett, that's six if it's David Moore. Why don't why are we doing this? I don't like this process. Look how far off they are. Maybe David Moore ran his route at the wrong depth. Maybe. But why is David Moore in the game? Relying on him to be one-on-one coverage when the blitz is coming. Somebody let me know. This the personnel usage from Dave Canales was m- m- nasty. I don't know how to speak Spanish. Ew. Ew. It sucked. What are we doing? What are we doing? And I, I'm trying to give him a break because first game ever coaching. Cool. You like to rotate the receivers heavy. I love that, actually. I love rotating receivers heavy. Make sure everybody gets on the field and, and, and keeping guys' legs fresh. But, dude, it's fourth and, fourth and ten. I'm not putting our fifth receiver on the field and saying, go win one-on-one. What? Let's get into the other stuff that I want to talk about. We're done with the blisses. We know they blitzed the hell of us and we lost. And they beat beat us on every every other phase. But let's talk about some of the other stuff I had a beef with. And let's talk about all the stuff that Bryce... Let's, let's just talk. Since I was already going to rant, bro, let's just get into Dave Canales now. Bro, he uses the worst players for certain things. I hate it, bro. We literally drafted a guy in the first round that is 6'3". Or I'm lying, I'm capping. 6'1", built of straight muscle, runs a 4'3", and we're running goal line fades with Deontay Johnson. Why? We're running wheel routes with 34-year-old Adam Thielen, who runs a 4'7". Why? What are we doing? We're, we're relying on David Moore to beat guys one-on-one on the outside in a fourth and long situation where they're playing 10 yards off the ball. We're sending him 10 yards to go run into the cornerback's chest. I don't like any of this stuff that Dave Canales did when it comes to his personnel usage. I Like I said, I love the, the keeping guys fresh and moving guys around. But, bro, in a high-pressure situation, I want my best players on the field, not David Moore. No diss to David Moore. But, but bro, come on. And then not only... Do I have a beef with his personnel usage? I'm sorry, I'm looking down. I'm trying to pull up this play for y'all. But, dude, some of these concepts, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what are we doing, dude? Let's look at this one concept that I just decided to pick up. Dude, what is this? We have two. We have a bunch, a, a, a squeeze down bunch formation almost. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm sorry. Split formation, whatever you want to call it. We have a wheel route from uh, Xavier League. About time. Whatever. Will Wild from Xavier League. You have a mesh concept where you have Deontay Johnson running the drag. Miles Sanders coming out running uh, an out route from the backfield. But what are these two-point receivers doing? You got Jordan Matthews and Mingo running frontside digs into each other's face. What? <laughs> What are we doing, bro? Let's run the play. What are we doing on this play? Why did he call that? Like, let's look at it, bro. Where, Where is... Okay, cool. Bryce could have went to one of the underneath routes. I can't even remember what down this is. I'm sorry. I, I cut the game off at halftime. But I can't even remember what down this is. Okay, cool. He could have went to the underneath routes and got a couple yards. whoop de doo But why do we have guys running into each other's faces on route concepts. And this is, and like I said, I'm trying to give him a break because he's a rookie head coach. This is his first game ever coaching. Only his second season calling plays. So it's hard to really, you know, kill him. And I, and, and I appreciate Dave Canales because he came into the pressure and said exactly what I'm saying. Hey, this was on us as the coaching staff on offense, especially. We just didn't have counters for their counters. They beat us. We got out coached. We didn't have our guys ready, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that um, responsibility he took. That's a, a big step from the last guys we had. But, dog, we're, y'all are killing – me too. We're killing our garden gnome at quarterback, and look what he's got to work with. Look at the personnel uses that we have in certain situations. Look at the route concepts we have. Look at the, the, the route concepts versus the blitz. Like, dude, why are we running 10-yard routes, 15-yard route concepts – Versus a seven-man blitz. What? I don't care what the protection is. What are we doing? What are we doing with no hot? With no hot. 
at the end of the day, it, it can only get better. He's a rookie head coach. I seen some of the stuff that he schemed up. That I was like, oh, that's a really good play. But I'm going to need him to get better and, and real fast because not playing guys in the preseason, some of the stuff that i seen him from the offense on this tape, uh, from schematic-wise, some of the personnel usage I've seen, I'm not necessarily a fan, bro. The way that he was running uh, or using XL in, in, the, in the offseason, I'm not necessarily a fan. We could have got so much more chemistry built with him and Bryce if he got he played over Mingo. And I know Mingo was hooping in camp, but, dude, we just traded up for this dude and spent the first-round pick on him. Come on, man. I'm going to give Dave a break, though. First game ever, only his second year of play calling. I'm going to give him a break. But let's talk about Bryce then. Um, Bryce, bro, Bryce didn't play bad, bro. I'm sorry. I, I, I hate to tell you. I mean, I guess he played bad. He, he was mid. Um, he was inaccurate on some plays. He messed up protection on one play, according to Dave Canales. But, I mean, he's he was mid. I mean, you had a couple plays, like, especially that first third down after the interception where he throws that backside dig or that frontside dig, I'm sorry, to Adam Thielen when they were in what? It was like a cover four. I'll pull up the play. It was like a cover. Yeah, they're in cover three. So you have Deontay running a, 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 a flat route. You have a, a little in route from, I want to say, that's Mingo or somebody. You have Adam Thielen as your outside receiver. He's running this frontside dig. And then you have this backside corner from whoever in an out route or a, who cares, a little flare from the running back. But, dude, this is in between a lot of guys. Like, this is in between some nutty coverage. And he had the gall to throw it in between three defenders and, hey, go get it. He played well. there, Yo, he had the plays downfield where he took the shots downfield. Forget taking the shots downfield. He had plays where he, we were always mad, like, hey, sometimes you got to go give your guys a chance. He gave Mingo and Deontay Johnson chances on fades. This, I mean, that one one post, I want to say, to Mingo, uh, I'm sure in the end zone angle, where he tried to get it to him in the end zone, give him a chance to go one-on-one, which, by the way, is a pass interference because the corner's holding down Mingo's hands. That's why it wasn't completed, but it's accurate. It's a tight window throw. It's on a rope immediately into your big receiver, telling him to go up and go get it and beat that guy. I don't know if he would have beat him because he got pass interfered with, but that's what you wanted to see, that aggressive from him. And we know. I I get it. He was inaccurate. Both those interceptions were to his inaccuracy. There's nobody nobody else to blame on him. Um, I mean, even when he was scrambling out, you've seen on that one interception where, yeah, nobody's open. It's third and long. He tries to make a play, and I get it. Mingo, I mean, he tries to throw an anticipatory throw to Adam Thielen, who he's seen breaking deep downfield, and he's just moving and was just inaccurate when he threw it. I mean, he had an inaccurate pass to, I want to say it was Miles Sanders whenever he was scrambling out of the pocket, even though it was a media pressure from Chase Young. But he's scrambling out of the pocket, and he's inaccurate there. I mean, bro, I, I don't think that this inaccuracy that we've seen from him on the run, because he was also very accurate, or a very good ball placement at times. I don't think it would have been there if he played in the preseason, bro. Call me a homer. Call me an excuse maker. But, bro, he didn't play that bad, bro. He played mid to me. He played like a guy that didn't play at all in the preseason. Which a lot of quarterbacks look mid when they don't play in the preseason. A lot of quarterbacks look bad. It's that simple, man. It's really that simple. But, I mean, bro, I'm not about to sit up here... Bro, to me, if you ask me my opinion, Bryce looked mid. I like some of the stuff. His footwork's better than last year. I like some of the chances he was taking. He looked mid. He looked the same as last year with a little, like the same as he did when he came into the year before he got scared. Um, Canales, bad. F grade for me. C minus from Bryce. F for Canales. F for the whole coaching staff because nobody's prepared. To, if you're asking me what, what I think about this season, what I think about this game, what I think we should do, I think we should take this game tape, burn it, kick it, piss on it, put liquor on top of it, pour out one for the homies, and move on. And make sure that we play our guys in the preseason next time. It's really that simple. But if you like the video, I guess like, comment, do all the YouTube stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments of how Dave Canales performed. Let me know if you think I'm just glazing uh, Bryce Young. And he was bad. Let me know, man. I just want to see what y'all think. I just wanted to give y'all the all 22 and what it says. But this has been a real ball watcher. I'll see y'all maybe on Friday. But if not next week, I'm out.